I am very excited because today I'm collecting a new toy. And when I say toy, it's not really a toy, it's actually a practical means of transportation. Which means I won't need to ride on the sweaty tube or the sweaty bus in this sweaty hot summer anymore. Ben Fox. Okay, it's safe to say I've been waiting a very, very long time for this package. About six weeks, yet the website stated between three and seven days. Okay, now to unbox it. Wasn't the most glamorous unboxing, was it? Okay, let's run. commute done. The first commute, the first maiden voyage with the Zoom Strider version 2 EX or whatever it's called. So there's quite a lot I want to say about this electric scooter all the way back to my first order and customer service but I'll get to that later. I'll very quickly give you a rambling review about the first commute. Overall it was a hell of a lot of fun. It was pretty awesome and the particular highlight was the suspension. The roads as you can see in London aren't perfect. It's not like San Francisco or what you see on YouTube videos. They're pretty rough. They're pretty rough. They're tough, tough to ride on. And the Xiaomi scooter, the commute, I'll put some footage of the commute as I'm talking on there. It, it, it was a bit jarring on the back, the lack of the su suspension. You really felt it, you know, on bumps and even on uneven terrain. You, you'd feel it in the back after a while. Now this baby, with its suspension was was fantastic. I have a really heavy backpack with loads of stuff inside and I was bouncing around all over the place but it didn't bleed and matter because of that really really good suspension. Um, yeah so that, that was definitely definitely the strongest point. It was also very fast, very fun, it's very zippy. In fact, I've nicknamed it Zippy because it's pretty zippy and I really enjoyed that. The Xiaomi was a lot slower and I know, thank you to the people who commented on the last video, that uh, I had it in low power mode and I know there's firmware upgrades to make it go faster so I can't really fully comment on the speed of that but this one, straight out of the box, is, is a good top speed of 25 kilometers an hour. That's 15.5 miles per hour. I believe you can knock it up to 18 miles per hour if you need more. But to be honest, it did fine. It was good on the hills. So that was really, really, really good. Little downside is the battery life. I did, I did just under four miles and the battery life, battery life went from 100% to 70%, which I'm a little bit disappointed about because this new EX model is gonna have further range. And I think, the Xiaomi just seemed to go on forever and ever and ever. So if you haven't watched that video, 
um, please watch that video before watching this video. Okay, but overall the commute was fun, it was fast, it was, it was convenient, and it was comfortable. So that was really, really, really good. Now, I'll talk about the bad things elsewhere. For the purpose of a demonstration, this is my good friend and colleague, Carly, and she's a girl. So, um, what's a girl's perspective on electric scooters? Do you think, do you think they're cool? Um, I mean, they're not bad. Do you think I'll get all the girls riding one of these? Running after you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, <laughs> let's go. And that's stop. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Come on, Mousy. Show me what you got. Oh my god. No, there's cars. Ow. Careful. Ow. Oh my god. Ouch. Ouch. What's the matter with you? Hit my ankle. Oh dear. This is a disaster. Wait. Hold Bad up. first impressions. So hang on. I don't like it. Ready? Oh, I'm not sure, Ben. I feel like I should have elbow pads and knee pads on. Go on, man. Carly is currently holding down the accelerator whilst trying to brake, rendering herself unable to stop. Let go of the first one! Right. Let go! Mouse, what were you doing? You're pressing both together. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> <sighs> oh, that was really stressful. Try again. Oh. Don't use the accelerator. You're just going to roll and go roll around. Down. Yeah, roll around and down. How did I look? <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, just nice and relaxed, nice and calm. It's a one-way street. Just go. Take a left. <laughs> Take a left. This is an electric scooter. This is to have license for them. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Mousy. Yeah. Come on then. Yeah. Give us your review. I mean, <clears throat> I think next time I'd prefer to be in a non-human pedestrianised car environment. Right. To get my bearings. <laughs> You need helmet, knee pads, elbow pads. Oh my god, I want it. I want the lot. I want like those leather jackets. Basically, I want what you wear for a motorbike. I don't think I've got top speed. You, you were nowhere near top speed, nowhere near. Can you push off a little bit and then press? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just well, you didn't tell you that before, did you? This is take two. Take two, Carly on the scooter. There she goes. I feel pretty. <laughs> Give it a bit of welly, Mouse. Give it a bit of welly. You need to give it a bit of welly going first. You can't keep up. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the scariest thing I've ever done. How fast are you going? Oh, I don't know, I can't look down. I'm sold. You're sold? I'm sold. Why? It's good. Terrible traffic around here, isn't there? So which way? Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm just heading to Hogwarts actually. Pardon? She's looking at you. She's looking at me. Well, I'm Harry Potter, so everyone everyone looks at Harry Potter, don't they? Here we go. So I may be the boy who lived, but you are my chosen one. And now our feature presentation. I tell you what, she's she's not light. She's not light. She's she's lighter than the Xiaomi, but she she's not that light. Okay, I'm aware this review has been a bit higgledy piggledy all over the place, and it was actually filmed over a few days, so it, there's nothing really concise in it at all. But there's a few other things that I want to mention that I feel is definitely worth mentioning to you guys before you buy this scooter, if you're gonna buy this scooter. Delivery. Okay, I ordered this on June 26th. It came August 5th? 5th, I think? 4th or 5th? So that's like, do the math, it's like six weeks. I ordered express delivery and it took, which was meant to take three to seven days. They fobbed me off email after email after email when I asked where's my scooter, obviously. And Zoom kept giving me the same story, which it will be here by the end of next week. It will be here by the end of next week. It was like Groundhog Day. I received that email three or four times. It eventually did come the beginning of next week. But that was like 
five bucks late, if you get me. So I politely asked for a refund on the express, express delivery, which was 35 quid, which I did get. So cheers for that. But ultimately, it kind of kills the excitement, doesn't it, when you're waiting and waiting and waiting for something and it doesn't come and then you're like, oh, I'm over it, I don't even want it anymore. So be aware that it's, it's not going to come overnight. Battery life, I'll talk to you very quickly. The jury is still out. The EX is meant to have longer battery life than the previous model. I have no basis for comparison, but the Xiaomi seems to go on forever. But the, ja the Xiaomi, when I had it, and thank you to you commentators in the comments box, I had it in low power mode, so it's going really slow and it lasted longer. So ultimately, I think with the, regard to these electric scooters, if you want to make them go long and far, then you need to ride them slow and flat. And when you get these specifications, like up to 30 kilometers, up to 35 kilometers, that really does mean in ideal conditions going very slowly with no hills on flat ground. So be aware of that. Yeah, I worked out if you if you kind of if you stay beneath 18 kilometers an hour, the braking is more effective and it's more economical. Okay, this might not be a big one for some people, but for me it's kind of a big one because there's no app. And even pencil cases have apps these days. There is the LCD display screen which looks like it's from like a Casio digital watch from the 1980s and it does the job but an app would be cool the Xiaomi you can lock it you can upgrade the firmware and hack it apparently so it goes even faster than this damn scooter and you know you've got all your information there in on your iPhone screen rather than a little digi display thing so it's up to you but I think I would have an app if there was a choice very quickly I uh, forgot something very important and it was the, the power brick. We've got to talk about the power brick. Basically, there's no UK port. You get this one, which obviously doesn't work in our plugs around here. And more concerning is that it doesn't seem to stop fully charging ever. By that, I mean there's a red light. It's meant to turn to green and doesn't seem to turn to green, which is potentially very dangerous as it could lead to overcharging and who knows what else. So yeah, so I kind of keep a timer now on how long it needs to be charged for. That's frustrating and potentially very dangerous and I'm going to send them an email. Second thing, another thing, is extras. There's no bloody extras. And by that I mean, here there should be a lovely kickstand and there's not one. And here there should be a bell and there's not one. I've seen other reviews online and they got a kickstand and they got a bell and they got a bag and a handle. Hey, I didn't get any of them. So, I'm just saying if you're expecting Father Christmas from the scooter people, it ain't happening. Uh, yeah, so I feel like these points are definitely worth mentioning before you take the dive and buy this scooter. Now, an affordable alternative is the Xiaomi 365 and a few commentators, like I said, commented on my video and said, why don't get 10 inch wheels on your Xiaomi and upgrade the firmware so it goes to like 32 kilometers, which is actually faster than this. And yeah, I, I, I wish I had seen that before I ordered it and probably potentially would have gone with the Xiaomi because it would have been here and I would have had it all summer and instead I've only got it like for August and September until the rain comes. So yeah, so there's no uh, uh, affordable alternative. Fingers crossed I'll try and get hold of a Xiaomi and, and do that because I only rented the last one and that would be cool. So yeah, that's all I've got for you. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, give me a thumbs down if you didn't like this video but don't do that because you're just cruel. Um, but do let me know what else I can do because I'm enjoying the electric scooters and, and enjoying making videos about them So give me the questions and let me know what kind of videos you want. I'm thinking of doing like a comparison between Regular manual scooters. My friend's got one. She goes all around town see if it's you know if electrics actually worth the the expense but Let me know what you want and we'll see what we can do and I will endeavor to ask your questions below See you next time